this is Jessica Velomini with Express Magazine, and we're at the Alternative Press Expo, and we're going to go interview some of the comic artists that are attending today. Hi, I'm Jax McBrayer. I write SixCircleComic.com. We've been going for a little over a year, and it's a tattoo shop set in the city, and the webcomic is all about tattoos, metal, and nerdery. We have a silverback gorilla as our doorman, and we have a demon who opens portals to hell and causes all sorts of mischief and mayhem because I'm a big fan of Fight Club. And, uh, yeah, in an upcoming strip, we're going to have the whole gang go to hell for a metal show and all the zaniness that happens with that. How long have you been doing that? A little over a year. April Fool's Day was our uh, start date, so coming up on two years. What inspires you uh, live live a crazy life and you'll never have a lack of things to write about. So I go crowd surfing in my wheelchair, I go skydiving, I, uh, I'm always in the mosh pit, I'm thrashing as hard as I can, and then I write about that kind of stuff. And I meet those kind of people and I'm like, oh my god, that would be perfect for a story. I have to write about that. Is that okay? And most people are like, absolutely, run with it, go for it. Ape is my favorite convention. I, uh, I did, or we didn't table at WonderCon last year, but I didn't like the vibe as much as Ape. Ape is much friendlier. It's all, it's all the people who want to be here for the art, and you talk to other tables, and everyone's in it for the same reason. You know, we all want to get our art out there and expose the world to our art, and I love that about this city, and specifically this con. Yeah, I graduated uh, from SF State with a cinema degree, which means I'm unemployed, of course. <laughs> it's Becky Hawkins. I'm from Pittsburgh, but I've been traveling for about five years. I've been working on cruise ships. I've lived in Brooklyn and Portland. Um, so I do a lot of auto bio just because crazy stuff happens all the time. Um, so here we have uh, working on a cruise ship in Europe, trying to find the perfect meal in New Orleans, being unemployed in New York, trying and failing to make the ultimate student gay movie, and my hippie friend stole a cow in Madrid. <laughs> so. This is all based on your life? Absolutely. This is all this is all my life for other people. You can Google like stolen cow Madrid and find the cow story. Um, yeah, I don't need to make stuff up. It gets pretty crazy here. Awesome. And um, what inspired you? Like, what made you want to start doing comics? Um, I pretty much learned how to read, like, on my parents' lap reading the Sunday comics, so I always did that myself. Um, and I didn't really know what indie comics were or what autobio comics were, and I was just making them all the time. So then I figured it out. So then I started French Coast Comics. It's my second time at Abe. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool convention just to walk around. Um, Do you get a lot of exposure for coming here? Like, what's... Yeah, definitely. I mean, we um, you give away just hundreds of your website, and you know, it's always fun when like one person comes back from last year and wants to see the new stuff. My name is Emma Saint Cartier, and um, I share a studio with Phoenix Zoelic, and together we've created uh, our company called the Beast Parlor. Um, so I do mainly sculpts and illustration work. I started off uh, doing freelance illustration, and um, it's kind of progressed into doing sculptures and, and selling stuff at shows like Ape and, and different uh, craft and art shows also, like Renegade. Definitely uh, the natural world. Like The sculpts just kind of come out of this kind of, I guess, childlike uh, <laughs> avenue where it's basically the sorts of things that I used to always love to draw and, and illustrate, and I've ended up kind of coming back to that. And um, I think that's what people really like, is that it's something that I really enjoy doing, and so they really, they really see that in the work, and so they enjoy the work themselves. And um, as far as the illustration work go, I'm definitely really inspired by uh, different stories, like from uh, mythology and fairy tales and, uh, and that sort of thing. So existing, working with existing stories and then also uh, with things that just exist in nature. This is my third year at Abe. Yeah, I actually, I moved to San Francisco from Toronto about three years ago. Um, and yeah, it's, I, it's a great I'm Jesse Ballmer. Um, we both worked on uh, this book, Chameleon, um, which is a, just a small anthology. Certainly Stuff that happens in, in our daily lives, you know, just like in interacting with people, but also, you know, like in other artists, like other comics as well. I don't know. 
for me, it's like movies and, you know, other books and things like that. This is really my first year, like, selling stuff. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been an enjoyable experience. I would do it again. So. Ma making money and meeting cool people. It's, it's a good thing. This is Jessica Bellomini with Express Magazine, and we just interviewed some of the artists here at APE. And so now you have an idea of some of the stuff you could see at this event, and hopefully you'll check out some of it online or go to some of their studios.